All right, Shalom. It's the brother from the G it's the brothers from the JMS North Carolina camp. Back with another video. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the Apostle, the Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And with that, we're just going to jump right into it. Let's um, start with the Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Yah Bashimon Shah, who at sundry times and in diverse, yeah, diverse manners, spank in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Con, so in times past, Yahweh spoken to the fathers. The fathers would be the, um, the nation of Israel, our forefathers. By the prophets, you know, he said the prophets to speak through him. He he said the prophets to use them to speak and to warn the nation of Israel and to instruct them on what they should do, be doing and what they should not be doing. Get on Luke one seventy. Luke. You um, know what we plan on doing this lesson is just going through a few, few scriptures proving that the Lord, um. Isn't gonna come down and tell you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans anything that he set up men to be his mouthpiece. There you go, Luke 1 70. Luke chapter 1 verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which he have which, which have been since the world began. Come, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So ever since the um the world began, you know. Thousand, thousands of year, years ago, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai has been speaking through men from the beginning of time. It says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. And hold, that word holy means separate. So Yahweh by Shemiah Shai set up men, his, uh, his prophets, to be separate from the rest of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. um, go back to that Hebrew story. Okay, it's the book of Hebrews. Chapter 1, verse 1. 1, right? Yah by Shimon who at sundry time and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Okay, go ahead. Have in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he have appointed heir above all you know, of all things, by whom he has also made the worlds. Come, have in these last days. Spoken unto us by his son. Get that, John. Because you know, um, Yahweh by Shema Shai has made, um, Lord, well, Yahweh has made Lord Yahweh Shai heir of all things, you know? I think it's 22. Yeah. This okay. is. Let me get it. Oh, lucky. Nice, lucky. Go ahead. This is John chapter 5, verse 22. For the Father, Yahweh, judgeth no man. He have committed all judgment unto his son, Yahweh Shai. Read it again, brother. This is John, Saint John, chapter five, verse twenty-two. Mm -hmm. For the Father Yahweh judgeth no man, but he have committed all judgment unto the Son Yahweh Shai. Come, so Yahweh Shai is in the judgment is in the judging seat right now, and he set up men that was gonna come and warn the fathers. You know, scriptures say, "Give them warning for me." So, um, go to that. Hebrews 13 and 7. And if Yahweh by Shema Shai has set up men in the past times, like he set up Aaron, Moses, he set up, he set up Moses to come down and warn the people and to give them the law, statute, well, not to warn the people so much, but to give them the law, statute, and commandments, you know, that we should um, follow and observe and to do those things. If he's done that in the past, then him... Yahweh Shema Shai sent up men now to give um, the nation of Israel a warning and to instruct them in the ways of how they should go. Nothing's going to change. Go ahead. This is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. 8. Oh, it's like 8. Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. Come, so Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, he's coming in the same mind as his father, you know, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, they have the same mindset. So if Yahweh Shai was the same yesterday and today and forever, 
for the things that he did in the past is going to be the same thing that he's going to be doing right now. Get him aim of three and seven. Uh, I got a preset for that too. Okay. Like you said, we'll uh, go and get your preset and then get that uh, uh, Give me one moment. Con, yeah. But um, basically, we're just we're just going through a couple scriptures proving that Yahweh Shemel Shai isn't going to come down and tell you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to stop eating your pork, shrimp, crabs, and lobsters, to stop sleeping with the next man's woman, and to stop, which is committing adultery. To stop, you know, smoking cigarettes and to stop um worshiping all these false idols that Yahweh by Shemel Shai has set up men to do those things and to give them and to um set up men to give you warning to stop doing those things or judgment's gonna come upon you. Where's the scripture, brother? So I can get this it. This is jo oh, this is John ten and thirty. Second John ten and thirty. Alright. Go ahead. This is Saint John chapter ten verse thirty. I and my father are one. Come on, I and my father are one. So that means that you're um he's on the same accord as father. It doesn't mean that they're um they're one being. Mm -hmm. they're, they're they have the same spirit. They're in the same you know mind, same spirit. You know. Right. Did you get that Amos? Amos. Oh, three and seven. Oh, come on, come on. This is Amos chapter three verse seven. Surely Yahweh Shemel Shai would do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Come on, it says, Surely the Lord God Yahweh would do nothing. So Yahweh Shemel Shai isn't going to do nothing, you know? He sends out, Yahweh Shemel Shai, all he does is sit on his throne and give out orders. He, um, like he gave out, he gives out orders to the angels and he gives out orders to his servants, the prophets. That's why I said, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Because Yahweh by Shema Shai is just going to tell his prophets what to do. And, you know, if they're faithful and true prophets, they're going to fulfill out the task at hand, you know. Mm -hmm. To warn the people. To, um, to warn the people that death and destruction is coming to the shores of America, you know. And that Yahweh by Shema Shai isn't going to come down and tell you himself. Because... Guys, they have 66 and 15. Uh -huh. Real quick. Because uh -huh. you, you don't want the the Lord to come back and tell you. I just want to get that one point. You already know what I want, right? What? I'll get 66 and 15. Six, yeah. Because if the Lord comes down, you know, he's not going to be um, saying anything nice. Uh -huh. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. But behold... Yahweh by Shemuel Shah will come with fire, mm -hmm. and his and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Count his chariots is on um, with the world equally called UFOs. Go ahead. To render his anger with fury, and with and his rebukes with flames of fire. Count his rebuke with flames of fire. So, you know, Yahweh by Shemuel Shah set up his men, the prophets. You know, and the job of the prophet is to prophesy. And um, and to, the Lord set us up to to rebuke our people, you know, with the word that tells you that in um First Timothy's um three and sixteen, or I believe Second Timothy three and sixteen, where you know it says in His rebuke with flames of fire. So Yahweh Shai, when the Lord Yahweh Shai comes back to rebuke our people, it's gonna be with flames of fire. He's not um gonna be talking and telling you to stop committing your wickedness. You got anything? Uh, oh, I'm just looking up for the definition right now. Um, a rebuke? No, a render. Okay, come on. Um, this is the um, the definition. One of the definitions of render is cause to be or become or to make. And one of the synonyms to make, the cause to be, to become. Um, that's about it. That's all the synonyms they got. So basically, the cause. You know what I mean? He's going to cause his, his fury with the flat of flames of fire by the ICBM missiles. Because the scripture says that his spirit is going to be in them ICBM missiles when they hit uh, Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's just to uh, get a definition of that uh, that word right quick. Through the spirit of Yah by Shimei on Shah. Okay. Get on um, Luke 10 and 16. Okay. Right. 16. Okay.
This is Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. Come, so this is Lord Yahweh speaking. It says, He that heareth you. So he that heareth who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, read it again, start from the top. This is Luke, St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. Come, so he that heareth us out there on the highways and byways speaking, you know. Telling them that death and destruction is coming to America, that uh, they should repent and serve Yahweh by Shema Shai with truth and sincerity and turn back on them so you can receive mercy. And he that despises you despises me. Con, but if you don't, but two thirds of your so called Negroes, like, no, not two thirds, the nation of Israel as a whole, you know, we go out there. Really again, suck it. Start from the top. This is St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And he that heareth you, heareth me. Con. And he that despises you, despises me. Con. So if you despise us for giving you warning and telling you to stop in all your wickedness, then you're really, and that word despise means hate, you're really um, hating who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Go ahead. Con. And he that despises me, despising him that sent me. Con, so if you're despising us, then you're despising Lord Yahweh Shai. And if you're despising Lord Yahweh Shai, then you're despising the Heavenly Father, the Creator, you know, Yahweh, who set up Lord Yahweh Shai to go forth, you know, which ultimately set us up. Con. Let's get, um, we're going to get two more scriptures that are going to close out. Get on um, Exodus 4 and 11. This is the book of Exodus. Con, because these aren't our words that we're speaking. These are the words of the Heavenly Father, you know? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 11. And Yahweh said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? And who, or who maketh the dumb or deaf or the seeing or the blind? Mm -hmm. Have not I, Yahweh? Con, have not the Lord. So Yahweh by Shem Shai makes the mouth in um read verse twelve. Verse twelve. Right. Yeah. This is verse twelve. Exodus four and twelve. Now therefore go and I will be with me like it. Therefore now therefore go and I will be with thy mouth mm -hmm. and teach thee what thou should thou shalt say. Con, exactly. So Yahweh by Shema Shai is, has put these words in our mouth and he's teaching us what to say week in and week out when we're on highways and byways and when we're doing these sit-down lessons. We're get, Yahweh by Shema Shai is speaking through the men, starting with our head apostles, the great millstone, and the men on down. He's speaking through them to give, you know, the people warning, to give them judgment and telling, you know, to tell you the things that are going to happen before they happen. And we're going to get one more. Get um, Jeremiah 1, and we'll start at 4. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 4. Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Behold, I formed thee. Now read that again. This is, this is Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 4. Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And mm -hmm. before thou comest forth out of the womb. Came is forth. Oh, came is forth out of the womb. You get for like I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Con, look up the word sanctify. Con, it says, um, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Con, so before Yahweh by Shem Shai put that spirit in Jeremiah, you know, in the, you know, baby Jeremiah, you know, in that body, I should say. He already knew the spirit, you know. The spirit of the prophet is subject unto the prophets. So he already knew he was going to be a prophet coming back in his lot. And before thou came out of the womb, I sanctify thee. And the brothers by get what that word sanctify means. This is the definition of the word sanctify. It's a verb. It means to set apart, mean to set apart as, or declare holy. Kind of to set apart, declare holy. Kind of like in um, Luke 1 and 70, by his holy prophets, by the mouth of his holy prophets. And one of the synonyms for sanctify is bless. Mm. To make holy, to make sacred, dedicated to God.
Khan. <laughs> Wait, read that last one again. Dedicated to God. Khan, to, he sanctified him. He basically made him, um, you know, his servant, you know? He dedicated, he's basically dedicated his whole life to serving him. Now go back to Jeremiah 1 and 5. This is Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest out forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Mm -hmm. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Can I go ahead? Oh, oh. Then, then it said, I, ah, uh, your high will power. Behold, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Come to Jeremiah had an excuse, you know? He said he was a child. But go ahead, a little uh, bit more. Uh, this is verse 7, Jeremiah 1 and 7. But Yahweh said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Come, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So the things that Yahweh by Shemuel Rashai have commanded to speak, that's what we're speaking, you know? We're reading straight out of the scriptures, and we're um, we're telling you these are the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. We're telling you that these are the words directly from the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Get that um, Second Ezra fifteen and one. Oh, we won't pull it on thing, but you know, because Yahweh by Shemuel Shai has caused these words in this book to be written down, and they're straight from Him, you know. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Con, and my people, with the my people is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Which I no, start from that part, my people. My people. Oh, con, 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 slack it. Behold, speak thou into the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. Kind of the word prophecy means to tell you something before it happens. So Yahweh by Shemuel Shai wants us to go out week in and week out. And then when we do any sit down lessons, you know, the apostle said that we got to do at least three videos a week. You know, and we got to. The words of prophecy means to tell you something before it happens. So while we're doing those videos and sit downs, we're supposed to be telling you the things that are, that are coming to America and that are coming to the four corners of the world. And you know, teaching you the word to the best of our abilities. Okay, um which I will put in thy mouth, say if you how about your mouth shot. Cons. So the Lord put these words on our mouth. There's it goes another scripture backing it up. So these are our words. Go ahead, read it, read the rest of that. Uh, which I have put in thy mouth. Um uh, well I means like which I will put in thy mouth, say if you how about your mouth shy, and cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful and true. Con and cause them to to be written on paper. So our our fathers, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai has set up our fathers before time, and they have written these words straight from the heavenly Father, straight from His mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. And they He got written in paper, and they're faithful and true, you know. That's right. I mean, you got any closing statements? Oh, oh nah, no, nah. Con. All right, well, um, you know, that was just a couple of scriptures, you know, proving that the Lord speaks through men and that Yahweh Shema Shai does nothing but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, you know? And before we go any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shema Shai, double honors to the head apostle of the great millstone, the rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.